how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time <laughs> actually guys it is a continuation of Howard's love story you guys that watched part one i promised you that i am going to be bringing to you part two and today is the day but if you did not watch part one please go back watch part one then come back here to watch part two so that you can understand this love story very very well for those of you that watched part one we ended whereby hawa came across a russian guy on a dating site and that russian guy was trying to send her the phone number but every time he could send his phone number Hawa was not able to pick that phone number and remember guys her mom kept on telling her don't give that guy your time he might be a scammer he is not serious but Hawa's heart tells us oh my god she liked him really really much so let's continue guys so guys how i kept on chatting with other guys because remember the mom was telling her no he is a scammer and the other voice was really telling her maybe this guy might be really a scammer so that pushed her to keep on chatting with different guys on online dating apps and then came across a profile of a british guy he was 45 years old so how i sent that guy a message and he responded was like you are really a beautiful lady but your age is the problem you're very very young for me i am 45 and at that time how i was 24 but made a mistake when she was registering herself on that dating site so her age was reading 22 <laughs> So that British guy told her, no, I cannot manage your age. And yes, guys, we really appreciate him. I've seen some comments, you know, ladies complaining, oh my God, some dating apps have got very, very old guys. And for me, I cannot deal with an old guy. So exist old guys too that cannot deal with young girls or young ladies. <laughs> Yeah, they will tell you, I really don't know what I will talk about with someone that young. Maybe 20 years age difference, 30 years age difference. No, I cannot manage. We really appreciate his honesty because some guys will know they are not interested with a young girl, but still waste your time. So he was really honest and told how I no you are beautiful but we can't continue how i was like it's okay no problem so guys so, when it ended with that british guy how tells us she can remember very very well she was watching world cup with her mother that evening then the russian guy again texted he sent his number and she told the mom, you know what? The Russian guy is still sending his number. <laughs> the mother was like, what is wrong with you, young lady? I've told you to ignore that Russian guy. He is a scammer. <laughs> but Hawa, inside her head, told herself, no, I am going to try my luck. So picked the number, of course, had to write it down. And after that, texted that Russian guy so immediately the russian guy responded and was like hello i am rustam from russia 46 years old welcome slam so he responded to the greeting <laughs> so guys remember how i had joined that dating site 20th of november and on 30th 
of November, that's when she came across a profile of that Russian guy. So which means she had stayed on that dating site for 10 days. And the date when they exchanged the phone numbers, it was on 3rd December. So after that short intro, they did not chat anything else, <laughs> but wished each other good night. But Hawa was like, this one, I think I'll never hear again from him. So what she decided to do, deleted his phone number that same, same night. So guys, Hawa waking up in the morning, found a good morning message from Rustam. <laughs> was really surprised and also sent her another message telling her today I'll be out of town. And after that message, followed by a video. He recorded a video of himself driving and also was showing how outside, you know, the road and how I was seeing snow everywhere. <laughs> it is winter cause it was December guys. <laughs> Perfect time for snow. How was like, okay, safe journey. So how kept on doing the usual things that she always do and evening time came so when evening time came received another message from rustam telling her hi hawa i just got back home i just want to eat and sleep how i was like okay welcome back you know they chatted just a little and wished each other a good night but guys, before I continue, you know, I'm your coach. <laughs> yeah. So if you are on online dating apps, you come across a guy, you know, you start chatting, exchange WhatsApp numbers. And then after exchanging WhatsApp numbers, you see this guy updating you of his daily activities. You know what he is doing. Maybe he told you I'm going somewhere. And when he comes back, he tells you I am back don't ignore that it's a good sign it's a sign of a serious man because him updating you on his daily activities maybe he told you i am going somewhere and when he returns back tells you that i am back you know that that guy is thinking of you just know that guy has got good intentions with you that's why he is including you in his daily activities you who have been on online dating apps for so long, you know. <laughs> you exchange phone numbers with these losers and after exchanging WhatsApp numbers, these guys will just send you good morning, disappear, return back in the evening and be like, good night. <laughs> or he will send a good morning and disappear for the whole week. That's a sign of a guy who is not serious, but a guy that you just started communicating and he is updating you step by step of what he is doing without you like asking him, stalking him with messages. That's a good start. So we learned that from Howard's love story with Rustam. So guys, I'm telling you all this because I know most of you that have been on online dating apps right now, you are heartbroken, you are fed up actually, but because Bella is always here telling you, go back to online dating apps, <laughs> keep searching, that guy is going to come, wait for God's time, you go back to online dating apps, but you're there like, I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in and out, in and out that I talked about. <laughs> yeah. So due to that, you're so heartbroken. This can cause you not to notice a serious guy when he comes. That is why I keep reminding you, I keep giving you tips and tricks to guide you through so that you don't miss that chance when it is presented to you, you know, by God. <laughs> so guys, on the third day, what happened? Rustam sent his passport and his driving license. And Hawa sent her ID and her passport to him. But of course, covered those important numbers. <laughs> yeah, so be careful, guys. Don't be like, Hawa sent her passport. I'm going to send mine. And you sent everything, you know, clear. <laughs> Even those important numbers, you just leave them open. No. Yeah, so after exchanging each other's documents, Rustam was like, I would like to see more of your pictures. And Hawa sent him her photos. Then Rustam asked, 
would you like to see my photos? <laughs> then Hawa said, yes, if you like. So Rustam sent her his photos. And after exchanging each other's photos, then he was like, I would like to see you. Should I make a video call? Hawa was like, yes, sure. <laughs> so he called on a video call. And when Hawa picked, Rustam was smiling. <laughs> So it was just a hi, 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 and then network problem. <laughs> so they ended the call and then kept on chatting, you know, no more chats. So there are no more chats where how many are you in the family? How many kids would you like, you know, to have in the future? Which really opened Howard's eyes it was like, I think this guy is serious. Because most of the guys, you guys that knows Howard's story <laughs> from part one was like, I've come across weird, weird people. And for me, I used to think it's normal, you know, for a guy to talk about sex because you know at the end of the day you're going to be lovers so for me at first it was normal until i came across your youtube channel you explaining it's not normal so me chatting with rustam and he's not talking about you know sex talks or asking me do you have big boobs <laughs> One guy asked her, do you have a big butt? And her was like, I don't know. Then the guy was like, why don't you know? We always take shower. <laughs> Can't you look back? <laughs> and see if it's big or not. With Rustam, they never talked about that. <laughs> so it made her really, really comfortable, you know, to keep the conversation with him. So as they kept on chatting, she could see that Rustam could take so long to respond to her messages. <laughs> and later, Rustam told her, how please, I am sorry. If you see me taking long to respond to your messages, it's because I don't speak good English. So I am using Google Translator to translate. I speak only Russian. How was like, it's okay. But again, Rustam asked her, which language is comfortable for you to communicate with me? How was like, Swahili. So they agreed that Hawa is going to be sending Swahili messages to him and he's going to be translating them in Russian and will also be sending Russian messages. <laughs> she will translate them to Swahili. So that's how it went, guys. For you who have been taking language barrier as a challenge not to make you create a relationship with a guy, let's learn from Howard's story. Every time I tell you, put yourself out there, put some efforts, you know, try everything. <laughs> this is one of the examples. We see how Howard tried so much to find love. She was denied visa seven times. And not only that, on online dating apps, it was never easy for her. We had all that from part one of Hawa's story. So guys, I repeat, some people are so blessed. Within a few days of joining dating apps, they find love. But some, it might be like Hawa or even the worst, you know, <laughs> worst challenges. But eventually you are going to succeed. So keep trying, girl. <laughs> so another thing that you guys need to know in Rustam's intro, he said he is single, lives alone, no kids. Yes, was married before but divorced. And her tells us within two weeks of communicating, Rustam showed Hawa his house. Yeah. So when he could call on a video call, he could show Hawa everywhere, you know, move from one room to another. Another thing that made Hawa see that the guy is serious because those guys that she used to chat with, for example, Sergio, aka Ali, <laughs> used to sit under the window, same, same spot. And I told you, if you see a guy is seated on the same spot every time you call, just know that guy is hiding something from you. He is married. <laughs> He is not single as he claims. So with Rustam, it was totally different. The guy was really, really 
free and guys from this video you're going to get lots lots of tips or signs that shows you a guy is serious with you <laughs> so yes they kept communicating and rustam could really try his best to record himself send those videos to Hawa. to an extent Hawa's mother you know had to give her some tips <laughs> I really, really love Hawa's mother. Yeah, she was so supportive. So told Hawa, I see your friend every time is sending you videos of himself, you know, recording himself, sending videos to you. Why is that you never record even a single video and send it to him? <laughs> so Hawa listened to her mother, took that tip. And yes, that day recorded herself and was like, okay, even me today, I'm going out of town to do some things. I wish you a good day. And sent that video to Rustam. Then was offline for the whole day till evening. So in the evening when she came online, found Rustam's message for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Nakupenda sana hawa mpenzi wangu. Oh my god! <laughs> Hawa was really, really happy. So, you see, guys, <laughs> her mother's tip worked. Yeah, it worked to move things. Yeah, because <laughs> how tells us before, Rusam could chat with her and could tell her, Hawa, I really love your skin color. I really love how slim you are. And that's all. <laughs> but that day, yes, he said, I love you so much. Hawa, my love. <laughs> and Hawa tells us from that day, <laughs> my pens in din din di. <laughs> They're crazily in love with each other. So after two weeks of them communicating, Rustam was like, Hawa, I've got good intentions with you. I want to marry you in the future. And I would like to come to your country, you know, to see you, see your parents, everyone close to you. But I am not rich. You have to know that. So I need time to prepare myself. Will you wait for me? And because Hawa was in love already, told Rustam, yes, I am going to wait for you. He was so happy and they kept on communicating. So guys, as they kept on communicating, one day Rustam called Hawa on a video call. And as they were talking, Rustam kept on turning, you know, smiling. Then Hawa was like, who is this guy smiling at? He told me he lives alone. <laughs> When the video call ended, how I had to send him a message. I was like, you lied to me because you told me you live alone. And when we were talking on a video call, you were turning while smiling. Whom were you smiling at? <laughs> Rustam told Hawa, no, I'm not a liar. I live alone, but my brother came to visit. Would you like to say hello to him? Hawa's like, sure. So Rustam had to call again on a video call. And yes, guys, Hawa, you know, waved to Rustam's brother. He doesn't speak English, but the only thing that Hawa understood, he was telling Hawa he is a policeman. So it ended like that, but you know, one introduction done. <laughs> yeah, so everything continued to go really, really good on their side. Then one evening, Hawa had gone out with her mother for a walk, then got a message from Rustam. He was like, I would like to talk to your mom. Hawa told him, we are out. When I arrive home, I will let you know so that you can call. And yes, when they returned back home that evening, she sent a message to Rustam, told him we are home. So he called, but first talk to Hawa and told Hawa, do you remember what I told you, you know, <laughs> two weeks ago about my intentions towards you? Hawa was like, yes, I remember. Did you talk to your mom about it? <laughs> Hawa was like, yes, I talked to her because of course her mother is her best friend. Yeah. So Rusa was like, okay, I would like to talk to your mom now. <laughs> and she passed the phone to her mother then, you know, they talked. Remember, guys, 
language barrier <laughs> but at least they saw each other so after the intro on how I said how I was like now you have talked to my mom I would also like to see your parents because Rustam's parents are still alive so Rustam told her remember how I told you I live alone but when I go to visit of course I will introduce you to my parents and I'll let you talk to my parents. So yes, guys, one weekend, Rustam went to visit his parents and then called Hawa on a video call. When she peeked, he was like, I want to introduce you to my parents. Rustam's mother was there. So his mother was like, hello, Hawa. <laughs> Hawa was like, wow, she knows even my name. <laughs> yeah, so they talked just a bit cause language barrier, guys. <laughs> yeah, and when the call ended, of course, Hawa came to tell me about it. I was like, Bella, you know what? That Russian guy I told you about, he just introduced me to his parents and his mother called my name. I was like, girl, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that the son talked to his mother about you and told her even your name. We are really going good in a good direction. <laughs> so the parents introduction, dad. <laughs> and another day, Rustam was with his friend and told Hawa, I am with my friend. Would you like to say hello to him? Hawa said yes. So she also talked to his friend. So guys, Hawa tells us within one month of getting to know Rustam, he had shown her his house, even outside of the house. He had introduced her to the brother. He has got a sister, but the sister is very busy, so it was so difficult to get her. But she talked to the brother, then to the parents, and to his friend. Something that never happened to her one. Because Hawa chatted with Senjo, aka Ali, for two good years and tells us every time she could tell Senjo, I would like to talk to your parents, Senjo could disappear for at least two months <laughs> and then come back whenever she could ask him. When are we meeting, Sergio could be like, do you have a passport? Do you have a passport? To an extent, how I was like, you know, is this guy crazy? Nati zimeachia au? Why is he always asking me if I have a passport? I've told him I have a passport. But guys, it's not that these guys are crazy. They are not. It's only that they don't want to respond to your question. They don't have a clear answer. That's why you chat with a guy, you ask him questions, and he responds to you in a different way. Or brings another topic. you be there like, did this guy understand me? <laughs> or maybe he did not understand. No, he understood well, well. Oh. <laughs> That's how losers can be. Be careful, dear ladies. So guys, their relationship started in December and now it was March. Around March, it was Rustam's dad's birthday. So Rustam went to his parents' house and called Hawa on a video call that day. When Hawa picked the video call, oh my God, everyone was there. <laughs> Even that sister that I told you she is very, very busy was there. They saw her, you know, they were happy to see her. And Rustam's sister told Hawa, you are very beautiful. <laughs> Hawa was like, thank you. Then the video call ended. So guys, you see, it's not that the intro was done only that one time and everyone forgot about her. No, <laughs> she talked to them again. On a very important day, Rustam's father birthday. What does that tell us? It tells us that Rustam considered Hawa already as a family. Guys, stop taking every small effort or steps that a guy does. A guy maybe you met on online dating apps, even in real life for granted no guys so after rustam's dad's birthday rustam got sick and was admitted at the hospital but 
he kept on updating Hawa on everything. He could make video calls, you know, showing her everything. Another sign that Hawa tells us made her think Rustam is really serious with her and he is the one because while on online dating apps she came across situations whereby she chats with a guy everything is good and then the guy disappears for even five months when he comes back tells you i was sick i never wanted to worry you that's a lie guys if a guy truly loves you he will update you on everything even his worst day he will let you know you know in good times and bad times because <laughs> eventually he's gonna be your husband and you should know whatever is happening in his life but a tip for you if a guy is updating you like that on everything that he does, you have to do the same too. Don't just say, okay, you know, but when it comes to your side, nothing. Don't do that because I know most of you are so bad when it comes to communication. Please work on yourself <laughs> if you really want to be in a relationship, especially if it is a long distance relationship. Communication is so, so important. And all this while, guys, Hawa was updating me on everything. Guys, if I tell you everything, it is everything. She could even screenshot the messages that Rustam sent, you know, to show me. Like, Bella, this is where we have reached. But why did I give my time to Hawa? First of all, you all know that I wish you well. I want you guys to find love to be happy but at the same time guys i told you i want my time to be effective so like i said in part one hawa had paid me the fee yeah so i was working with her but at the same time you know guys when i work with you i work with you as as a sister that kind of a business relationship it's not there at all because i want you to feel comfortable and talk to me as a sister so that i can guide you well i've seen most of people after talking about this still you come on my instagram you greet me and after that it's a book you write a long message telling me all your things <laughs> <laughs> and you expect me to spend all my time to read all that and then advise you. It does not work like that. It's not that I'm in Europe and I'm telling you, you know, we're so busy. We have got lots of things to do. No, <laughs> you too, even if you're in Africa, I believe that your time is very, very important. Even if I don't know you're in the Caribbean, so whatever part of the world you are, your time is so, so important. You've got lots of things to do. So let's help each other, guys. You have to pay the fee so that I can really advise you, especially you guys that have found love already on online dating apps. A guy seems serious. <laughs> hey, you need guidance because your situation is crucial one mistake your life is ruined so what i've been doing these days because i don't want to look like i'm ignoring you if, if i see a long message coming of course <laughs> i just tell you keep observing him if i feel like you know after reading you know through that that guy should be given at least more time yes i tell you keep observing but me telling you keep observing doesn't mean i've told you the guy is serious but for me to get so deep into your love story yes of course you have to pay for my time please please i love you so much you know that but if it is just to socialize, I told you I'm so open. I'm going to socialize with you, exchanging two or three messages with you. It's not a problem, okay? Because we are in this together. We are family. You can't come and say, hi, Bella, how are you? And then I ignore you. No, I'll never do that. So let me hope you guys have understood. So I kept on guiding Hawa step by step.
So guys, remember Sancho or aka Ali, <laughs> how I had ended the relationship with him. But this guy kept on contacting her, sending her messages with different numbers. Then Hawa had to change her phone numbers so that she can be in peace. And from there, he never contacted her again. So guys, the relationship between Hawa and Rustam kept on growing every single day. They kept on building their relationship. And then april came so when april came how tells us around ed there is a tithe muslims call it zaka that has to be offered by the family so around that time rustam told her you know what my love i've paid your zaka the tithe you know to the mosque even your mother's cause i want you to be my family hawa was so happy and also told her mom her mom was really really happy about it and then they kept on chatting then one day rustam told her i would like you to live in my house i would like to see you here how I was like, that's my wish. So Rustam requested that also Hawa should show him where she lives. And yes, Hawa showed him around. But this whole thing of a guy showing you his house and wanting to see where you live, you know, some people might take it the negative way. But guys, you know, in this channel, <laughs> we are positive, positive vibes only. And if a guy is not showing you any red flags, then why should you start thinking <laughs> negative of him or negative of everything that he tells you? We take this the positive way. The guy doing that he wants to see if you guys can match looking at your lifestyle and you looking at his lifestyle it is to tell you this is my life i don't know if you accept it <laughs> and seeing your life you know he talks to himself in his mind Do this lady really match my lifestyle but of course guys without forgetting how you behave your character is very very important so a guy looks at your character it is a tick then wants to see your lifestyle you know and decide so let's always take it the positive way let us not start thinking that maybe a guy is showing you around to brag because some of the guys it's not that they are bragging no they're just showing you their lifestyle so that you can see it and see if you fit in you as a woman too because <laughs> they told you you need to have a voice in a relationship and the guy needs to have his voice too <laughs> to decide on things so guys that april a lot really happened the relationship was really moving fast <laughs> between hawa and rustam so one day it was on a friday you know on friday muslims go to the mosque just like us christians on sunday we go to the church yeah so rustam was at the mosque called hawa and when hawa peaked Rusam was like, you know what? Yesterday I talked to my friend. Then my friend advised me, if we love each other, we trust each other, we can get married online. What do you think? I was like, sure, no problem. Rusam was so happy and thanked her, you know, to accept to be his wife. So guys, they kept on communicating till july yeah so when july came her tells us sent messages to rustam but rustam kept on ignoring her messages so how was like what is wrong with this guy he doesn't know me very well <laughs> i've got my coach coach bella teaches us that we should never chase a guy don't run after a guy so i'm not going to text him i'm going to keep quiet i'm going to ignore him too you know <laughs> if he has decided to ignore me and that's what hawa did ignored him completely <laughs> so guys the next day came 
it was july just like i told you <laughs> so he told her yesterday i took time to pray to god in muslim religion there is a prayer they call it dua ishara something like that you're going to correct me you muslims where you ask advice from god to guide you in whatever you want to be guided on so rusum was praying to allah to guide him in his situation with Hawa to show him if Hawa is the right woman for him. So that next day he came back to Hawa was like, I prayed to God and I am glad God answered me because immediately when I finished praying, I saw your messages, three of your messages telling me you love me <laughs> so yes you are the right woman for me because guys rustam is a very prayerful man to some people it might seem something you know <laughs> no more or does not make sense but it makes a lot of sense to him because he's very very prayerful he's so faithful in god so yes that one passed now we go to afro cinema because <laughs> afro cinemas cannot miss in my stories <laughs> so as in our story of today so guys that same same july they were chatting and remember guys all this while they are chatting using google translator yeah so that day they were chatting and hawa sent him a message but when that message went to rustam when he went to translate it it came as hawa was calling rustam leandro <laughs> Then Rustam responded, was like, Hawa, I am Rustam. I am not Leandro. Oh my God. How was like, what is this guy saying? <laughs> Rustam was like, you sent me a message calling me Leandro. Oh my God. Hawa went on Google, translated the message she sent. And yes, there was Leandro. But Hawa tells us in her life, never chatted with anyone called Leandro and of course how I never dated any Tanzanian guy or any other guy you know in real life so for her the fault was with Google but remember guys when you are online yeah when something like that happens it really disturbs you know you start feeling like should I trust this woman or not that's how a guy can feel and if you are a woman of course you can really feel like this guy has been chatting with other ladies. Why is he calling me a name of another lady? <laughs> yeah, so Rustam got so angry and went offline. So when he went offline, of course, Hawa had to run to her coach, Coach Bella, and was like, oh my God, Bella. She was really panicking. What can I do? He went offline. Google went and translated Leandro. <laughs> And it was never my intention to call him Leandro. You know, the name just came. I don't know how. What can I do? I've tried to explain and he is offline. He's super, super angry because he sent her a message. I am not Leandro. I am Rustam. Oh my goodness. I had to calm down Hawa. I was like, Hawa, you know what? If you have explained to Rustam that you did not call him Leandro, but it is Google's fault, you should be at peace. If this guy really loves you, he's going to calm down and then come back to you and understand you that it's not your fault. But if he is one of those players or one of those guys that will never ever want to understand or be mature at least try to understand then he's not going to come back and if he doesn't come back don't worry because he is not meant for you because a guy like that you know reacting on something like that and then tell you it's over or i don't know blocks you hmm he does not make a good husband. So I was like, okay, thank you so much. Let me keep on waiting. I will update you. So guys, the next day, Rustam came back. <laughs> yeah, he was like, it's okay. I understand you and invited her for food. Because at that time, 
he was about to have his lunch so yes guys problem solved and they kept on communicating then same same july remember he had told her he will go to tanzania you know to visit her see the family but told her how uh, due to my business i'm really really busy i can't make it to come to tanzania if i send you a ticket and a visa will you come to russia how i was like yes i can and I know most of you have been online, you have come across lots of Russian guys, but when you chat, everything is good, they waste your time. In the end, they tell you that it's because of the war, I cannot travel to come and see you. It's because of the war, I cannot even invite you to Russia. <laughs> so from today's video, from today's love story, guys that have been lying to you that have been wasting your time because rustam invited Hawa to russia and not only rustam i know other ladies that have been dating russian guys and they traveled same same period so stop being too nice or too understanding <laughs> sometimes guys these people are using the war as an excuse to keep wasting your time to keep playing games on you so when Hawa accepted that, yes, she can travel from Tanzania to Russia to meet Rustam, he was so happy and told her, I am going to start the visa process now so that you can come to me. <laughs> and they also planned that when she goes to Russia, they are going to get married, yeah, on her first visit. And during all that time, Hawa kept on going to the dating site where they met to check if Rustam logged in <laughs> but whenever she could check he was not online but his photos were still there then one time told Rustam I want you to delete your photos on that dating site because we have found each other Rustam was like okay I will do that then past some time Hawa went to that dating site and found that Rustam's photos were still there, but he had not logged in. And then came back, confronted Rustam, thinking that he is going to lie to her. Asked him, we agreed you delete your photos on that dating site. Have you deleted them? Rustam was like, no, I have not deleted them. Reason is I couldn't log in anymore because that dating site no longer function in Russia. And yes, guys, when Hawa went to find out, it's true, that dating site no longer works in Russia. So he said the truth. So those are some of the tests you can put on a guy to see if he is a liar or not a liar. If he lies to you, just know that he has told you loads of lies that you don't know. Because a liar will always be a liar, guys. So days kept on going and October came. When October came, Rustam wrote to Hawa and was like, your visa is out because he applied for a private visa. So Hawa was really happy and he told her, you need to go to a Russian embassy in Tanzania with your passport so that they can put a stamp on it. <laughs> stamp your visa on that passport. And Rustam didn't know money is needed <laughs> for her visa to be stamped on her passport. So she went to the Russian embassy and after arriving there, they told her you have to fill in the form. And also you need to pay 170 euros, something like that, yeah, for the visa. So she went out and talked to Rustam and told him money is needed for the visa. So when she told Rustam about the money that is needed for the visa, he started looking for the ways to send her the money from Russia to Tanzania. But Hawa did not tell me about that. <laughs> so I didn't know anything that these people were going through a struggle of her receiving money from Russia to Tanzania. They kept on trying for the whole month and they didn't find any way because in Russia, no MoneyGram, no Western Union, nothing guys, nothing. <laughs> 
So after not getting any way of her receiving the money from Russia to Tanzania, she had to contact me. Was like, Bella, I have a problem. I don't know how you're going to help me. I want to receive money from Rustam for the visa. I don't know how to receive the money. Can you please help me out? So what I told her is that I'm going to make a research about it and cause I know couples, you know, ladies that are married to Russian guys and I remembered Joyce guys. Joyce is a Tanzanian lady who found love online with a Russian guy. So I told her I'm going to talk to Joyce and also make a research. Then I'll get back to you. She was like, thank you so much, Bella. I'll be waiting. So yes, I did my research and it's true. All those ways of sending money from Russia to Tanzania, <laughs> they were not working. So I had to write to Joyce and I asked her what ways you guys were using. And I'm so thankful. Joyce, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. So she responded to me was like bella yes western union moneygram does not work here but i know someone that helps even students you know tanzanian students that studies in russia some are working in russia to send money back home so maybe i send you the whatsapp number of that guy and you connect him to hawa so yes guys i talked to hawa and i was like there is this guy he's gonna help you joyce knows him you know he's trustable you can tell your boyfriend to send money to him and then he will send the money to you and yes guys how i was very happy when i told her she talked to rustam rustam accepted and they got connected he sent the money to jamal and jamal sent the money to hawa how got the money went to the embassy and after one week was granted her visa to russia three months visa Oh my God, how was over the moon. <laughs> she sent me voice notes immediately after going out of the Russian embassy. was like, Bella, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been here. I remember how people used to tell me that <laughs> I cannot get married even to a poor Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god you encouraged me you inspired me to keep on moving here i am all thanks to you but above all thanks to god i was happy too for her guys my dada mambo zakwako natumaini meamka salama nina furaha kupita kiasi ndo natoka balozini nimepata visa nashukuru Mungu Mungu akuweke dadangu na kupenda sana ajabu kwa sijakuona lakini nakupenda ajabu kwa sijakuona lakini siwezi kueleza upendo wangu kwako nakupenda sana dadangu Mungu akubariki yani nimekuwa msaada mkubwa kwangu kusema kweli bila wewe sidhani sidhani kama ningekuwa hapa nilikufikia na nafurahi Mungu akuweke na kuombea maisha marefu yenye furaha na baraka tele So yeah after the visa is out he had to buy the air ticket and yes guys Rusam bought an air ticket whereby Hawa was supposed to travel 30th of December if you always watch my videos I mentioned this in one of my videos that there is someone who is traveling 30th of December oh my god we're all excited Hawa bought lots of gifts you know <laughs> to bring to Rustam and the family did shopping you know prepared everything and that day for her to travel came she told me bella i'm going to the airport <laughs> i remember her sending me even the photo but guys i never posted that photo so what i do i first wait you know when you arrive that's when i put the photo out there yeah that's how i do it <laughs> so yes guys how i reaches at the airport and it is checking in time when she was checking in they found out that Hawa has got only one-way ticket. 
And Hawa, without knowing, started telling them that I am going to get married. Because she contacted Rustam and told him they're not allowing me to board because I don't have a returning ticket. Then Rustam was like, but my love, we are going to get married. Tell them that we are going to get married when you come here. Hawa tried to tell them, but they told her we don't care. We want a returning ticket. And guys, you will be like, Bella, if you were guiding this lady, why is that? You never told her about the returning ticket. Guys, I told her more than two times, Howard, do you have a returning ticket? But she never responded me that. And I think because she was so excited about traveling. But also tells us she talked about it with Rustam, but maybe because of language barrier, Rustam did not understand. So yes, guys, all the excitement ended at the airport. How I couldn't travel to Russia. <laughs> and she was like, Bella, village people. <laughs> Of course, she stayed at the airport for so long, you know, trying to find a solution because Rusam had wanted to buy a ticket, but they told her they need cash. So at the end of the day, at four in the morning, that is when Hawa had to return back home. Very, very disappointed. So after arriving home, Rustam called on a video call, but Hawa couldn't help herself. She was crying, 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 couldn't even talk so rustam ended the call and sent her a message was like how am i love stop crying i am not dead. don't worry everything will work out and yes guys how contacted me in the morning i was really stressed i told her how but i had told you she told me bella you just forgive me maybe because of language barrier rustam did not understand and i told her no matter how you could have convinced them that you're going to get married they were not going to allow you to go because your visa was just a visiting visa not a fiancé visa so you're talking about marriage that's your business between you and Rustam. So friends, after her failing to travel that day, Rustam had to start investigating, you know, making research of what other things are needed, you know, for them to get married. And he found out that Awa needs to have a document of no impediment. That document that shows that you are not married in your country. She did not know anything about it. And as for me, I thought Hawa knew everything about that because they were planning to get married when she arrives there. So what Hawa decided to do, decided to share the number of her mother with Rustam so that Rustam can talk to her mother about that document of no impediment. But guys, we have another Afro cinema <laughs> because after Hawa sent her mother's number to Rustam, Rustam saved that number and in the morning wrote to Hawa who is this? So Hawa thought maybe Rustam was asking <laughs> whose number is this? Hawa told him my mother, but Rustam told her, no, I'm asking you who is this on your mother's WhatsApp status. <laughs> That's my auntie's daughter, you know, the cousin, but little one. <laughs> yeah. And Hawa told us they look alike. So Google again went and translated that my baby. Oh my goodness, guys. Rustam got so angry, was like, Hawa, why did you lie to me? All my efforts are for nothing. Someone needs to be blamed on this. Why did you hide it? Keep it a secret that you have a baby. All along you had a baby. Hawa, why? So he was really angry, blaming her and told her, I want to sleep now. Good night. How <laughs> was angry too because she is trying to explain the guy is not understanding. So Hawa kept quiet to never even responded to that good night message. <laughs> the next day in the morning, he sent her a good morning message. She ignored it. And in the afternoon, he wrote to her again and was like, Hawa, did I annoy you? And Hawa responded, honestly, yes, you annoyed me. <laughs> 
So they talked and you know, he said, I'm so sorry, Hawa, if I annoyed you. And you know, I understand. It's Google. So they forgive each other and the relationship continued. <laughs> oh my God, these people faced lots, lots of tests on Rustam's side because if this guy was not serious at all, I think the relationship could have ended a long time ago <laughs> when she called him Leandro. <laughs> so on this, what do we learn from Hawa? We should always be ourselves when we are in a relationship. No matter the guy is white, you are human. If he does something wrong, show him that I am angry. I'm not happy about it. Yes. Stop being a yes girl, a yes girl. All the time you're positive, you're smiling. No, no human being is like that. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we get angry. Sometimes, yes, we are happy. <laughs> Even me, guys. I, I know you people that deal with me so closely, you have seen when I get angry <laughs> and when I'm not angry. Though here on YouTube, I come, I'm smiling because, yes, at this moment, I am happy. I'm in happy mood. But if something happens to annoy me, I won't come here and start laughing, you know, <laughs> smiling like I always smile. No, I'm human. So let us always be ourselves. Be you when you are in a relationship. And like that, a guy will know you are real. Note that you're always <laughs> a yes girl. Everything is fine. You want to please him. Even if he does something bad, you don't tell him anything. No, guys. No, 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 no. So guys, yeah, they forgave each other. They kept on chatting. But at the same time, they were working on her, you know, getting another ticket, the returning ticket. So when he wanted to get a returning ticket of Turkish Airlines, there were no flights from Istanbul to the city where Rustam lives. So he was supposed to have another ticket of another airline whereby in that case Turkish Airlines started telling her she needs a transit visa so they had to communicate with everyone to know if really she needs a transit visa even talk to her aunt who works in the government and the aunt talked to you know her close friends her connections they told her no she does not need a transit visa because she is not going to stay in istanbul for 24 hours no she is just arriving at the airport and connecting the air she also asked me about it and i told her with my own knowledge you don't need a transit visa but on Rusam's side he was still scared told her to go to the embassy ask she went to the Turkish embassy and asked, they told her, no, you don't need a transit visa, but you do not need a luggage. You're going to travel with a small bag. Remember, she had bought lots of gifts and all that. She was really, really disappointed. What can I do? So I kept also checking some information about that. Talk to people. I remember talk to Joyce too. She also gave her own advice, you know, all to help her. So eventually they lost that ticket. They had to cancel it. And again, he had to pay for another ticket. Go and return. Yeah. Went to the agent and they booked on 10th of January. So before 10th of January, Rustam tried to contact that agent. He was not picking the call. In short, he ate his money. Yeah. Too sad, guys. So when all that happened, Hawa was also checking airlines, you know, <laughs> that goes to Russia everywhere and could update him. Tell him this airline, it costs this amount from Dar es Salaam to Dubai, Dubai to Moscow, you know, like that. And on his side, when he could go on a computer wanting to buy a ticket, the amount could come, you know, higher than what Hawa saw in Tanzania. So what they decided to do is that he should send her the money of the ticket and she buys the ticket in Dar es Salaam. Yes, through that guy that Joyce connected us with. And yes, guys, how I got that money when she got the money, I told her, Howard, 
be very very careful i advise you if it is possible go to the airport and buy that ticket don't just buy a ticket to to any agent in town because you never know people can scam you they can eat your money we all know her past history how she lost loads of money through agents i gave her the guidance do one two three four she was like okay sister i understand you also, I gave her the guidance on how to get that document of no impediment after getting it, what to do with it so that it can be accepted in Russia. She did all that, got her ticket, was super, super happy. And this time, me too, was so happy. But guys, we have another surprise coming. <laughs>